This conference will now be recorded. So in previous session, we have discussed what is lightning flow and what is flow in Salesforce. Lightning flow, in summarize, if I say, lightning flow is a tool through which we develop flow without writing a single line of code. Completely declaratively tool. So now, uh, when we say flow, flow nothing but it's a automated process which helps us to collect, create, update, delete the record in the Salesforce object. And also it helps us to execute the logic, execute the APS classes, and develop the screens to take the user input and process the logic on, on top of the inputs and do some DML or do some execution on that record with interacting to my Salesforce database. And also we control the security, which flow can be accessible to which user. So that much we have discussed in previous session. Now let's see, as I said, there are various automation tools we have, like Process Builder, Lightning Workflow. There are many various tools we have. So which tools we should use? Which automation tool we should use at what time? So if you see the various tools uh, like process builder, we have the process builder you can see here. Let me go back here. Okay, we have process builder, we have flow builder, we have workflow, we have approvals. And we'll see based on different kind of parameters, based on different kind of parameter and parameters, which flow builder or which process builder or, or workflow or approval to be used? Which automation tool to use based on what type of requirement? Okay, if I show you different kind of thing, in Salesforce, we develop the workflow to automate some business process like uh, email alert, field update, outbound message, and uh, assigning the task. <clears throat> we write the workflow rule, we write one rule, if the rule satisfies, then we perform different kind of actions. Same way, we develop the approval process without writing a single line of code declaratively with the drag, drag and draw functionality, we develop approval process. And we can develop approval process uh, for um, sending the sequence of steps to the approver to approve the record. Okay, like like if you apply for leave application and this application need to be approved by your manager and by your delivery manager, then the sequence of steps we define how your record is going to be approved by approver. So we define the entry criteria or rule and we send for approval process. Same way, we have another automation tool which we call process builder. It's nothing but as I said in previous session, process builder nothing but it's like a next version of uh, workflow. Okay. So we can perform all same kind of actions what we have in the workflow with additional some many things. Let me just uh, give some dummy names. Uh, let me let me show you how the process builder uh, looks like and how we can create a process builder here. Okay. Let me show you that. Then we'll go to the lightning flow. How it happens? See, in the process builder we define what is the object. Then we define the condition and what actions they can do. Okay, we can define multiple conditions with the inside files and everything. Okay, so now if I go to here, let's see based on what parameters we are going to develop this process build, this automation tool, and which automation tool we are going to use. So we have taken different parameters like complexity, visual designer, when the logic to start, and uh, is this support the time based action or not, and it supports user interaction or not. Depending on our requirement, we can pick which automation tool to be used. Let's see workflow. So if you have only one rule, a single condition if you have, and based on the condition you want to do something, then we can use workflow. The complexity, where the complexity is there, based on the complexity, if you see, if your workflow have a single rule, if you, your logic have a single rule, then, Either you can use workflow or approval process. Okay, so it depends on what action again you want to do. If you want to send uh, some sequence of steps or sequence of approval to approve the record, 
then go for accrual process or otherwise go for workflows if you want to automate business process like uh, email alert sending the uh, assigning the task field updating outbound message then you can go for workflow rules workflow rule or approval process supports a single if else statement or nothing but a single entry criteria or single rule okay but process builder can take multiple if else con multiple if else statement like you can see if i add a, add a criteria let me let me just show you here Okay. Let's just I'm just putting some dummy here process builder. Okay, so now you can see if I put some condition here in the false part I can write something else. So it supports multiple condition in process builder So if you have multiple if else statement, then we can go for process builder If you have single if you have single rule or single single condition Then you can go for workflow and flow builder is a thing which can take the complex logic It's not like a if else statement in the complex logic we can build in the flow builder see the power where it comes up see then uh, we'll see the visual designer so when i'm developing this uh, workflow or approval or process builder so can i develop this visually yes in the process builder or flow builder you can develop visually but not with workflow and approval processes okay when uh, this automation tool will start will execute how it will execute so in workflow rule if your record is changed that means if you do any kind of dml operations like insert or update that moment your workflow will execute an approval process can be initiated uh, by clicking on a approval button okay or can be it can be uh, initiated inside the flow or process inside the flow or process we can initiate the approval process or from apex also we can initiate approval process or workflow only will initiate whenever there is a change in record like insert or update okay what about process builder process builder same way whenever there is a change in record nothing but during insert and update or the process process builder process can be invoked by another process or whenever there is a platform event message received so these are different invocation point when my process builder can start then what about flow builder Flow builder same way when user click a button or link we can give a button on click of that button we can start a flow or uh, inside the lightning page community page from a va page or from a custom tab quick action or from a utility bar from all the places we can start also we can initiate from the apps also we can insert from the process builder so there are multiple places from where we can initiate my flow Okay, I'll show you everything how we are going to initiate this flow with all these options. Okay, how this flow can be accessible. Okay, so we know uh, before in workflow also we supported some time-based actions. Okay, some some time-based workflows we write to do something. So is that time-based workflow supported in process builder, flow builder, approval? In approval, doesn't support time-based actions. So time-based actions supported by process builder, flow builder, and workflow and is there any mechanism to develop a screen by using any of these automation tool let's say you have a requirement you want to develop a screen and then based on the data taken from the screen data taken from the user through that screen you want to do some activity so when you want to do that kind of thing we can do uh, through flow only flow have the capability to develop a user interaction screen in that screen we can take some kind of input so by seeing all of these things if you see flow nothing but it's a, it's more powerful in the sense of uh, to execute the complex logic and uh, it can be invoked from multiple places like your developed custom pages lightning page community page va page tab button utility bar quick action so i'll show you all in all the places we can execute it also the flow can be initiated from the process builder also the apex class can initiate a flow so there are many multiple options so from where we can initiate the flow and also the flow supports time-based actions and also the using flow we can develop my um, screen or user interaction page where the user can give some input and we capture that input and based on that input 
we can uh, see you can see here we can collect we can create we can update delete uh, the record in multiple objects and also if you see uh, this flow users through screens we collect the data and update the data we can do all kind of things so in a, in a single single summarization i can say flow is a application declaratively created application which helps us to collect create update delete record and to interact database directly executing the logic and invoking the apis class and developing the screen to automate my business process so we can decide based on the what parameters we have requirements based on that is this process builder is suitable or flow builder is suitable or workflow is suitable or my approval is suitable which one is suitable that we can decide and we can pick which one so in the complete session we'll discuss all the mechanism of this flow builder how i am going to use complex logic to build flow where are the different type of invocation and how i am going to use it and how this time based action supporting and how i am going to develop the screens using the flow okay so we'll see all in the upcoming sessions stay tuned for next session thank you